Hi YouTube, this is Shell with Shelby's Knickknacks, here bringing you another crochet tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be continuing on with my letter bobble stitch series. So today we'll be going over the letter F. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to complete that. First, I'll start with the materials. You'll need a 6mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, and you'll also need a yarn of your choice. I'll be using the Red Heart Super Saver, size 4 yarn, worsted weight, and the color Orchid. I've already crocheted the first three rows, and I've already chained one, turned my work, and I've single crocheted to those first five. And for reference, you're going to single crochet into the first five, bobble stitch into the six, and then you're going to single crochet in those last 11. So I'm going to yarn over. And if you would like to know how to start off this project, I will link down in the description box below my previous video in order for you to start this project and also how to bobble stitch as well. One more time, need five on that hook. Okay, yarn over and pull through all five loops. Okay, now you're going to single crochet into those last 11. You're going to chain one, turn your work. You're going to single crochet all the way across row five, making sure you end up with 17 stitches. And then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row six. I'm back. I've already single crocheted across that row. I've chained one, turned my work, and I've single crocheted into that first five in row six. And for the reference, we're going to single crochet into those first five, which I've already done, bobble stitch into the six, single crochet into those last 11 stitches. And now we're gonna do that bobble stitch in the sixth space. Since I've already done my first five single crochet, we're gonna yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops only, and keep repeating that motion until you have your five loops on that hook. And if I'm going a little too quickly for you, you can just pause the video until you're able to catch up and just restart at any time. And I have four and I need to do that one more time. And pull through those first two loops only. And now I'll yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. Okay. And since I've done that, that's the only bobble stitch of this row. We're gonna single crochet into those last 11 stitches. Chain one, turn your work single crochet all the way across row seven being sure that you end up with 17 stitches you're going to chain one turn your work and i'll meet you back at row eight okay i've already chained one turned my work and i've done the first five single crochet on row eight and now we are here we're going to do those first five single crochet bobble in the sixth and then do those last 11 stitches We're going to do that bobble stitch into that sixth stitch on row eight. And you're just going to keep doing this until you have five loops on your hook. I have four. I need to do that one more time. Pull through those first two loops only. I have five, and now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. Oops, all five of those loops. Okay, and now we're gonna do those last single crochet into those last 11 stitches. We're gonna chain one, turn our work. We're gonna single crochet all the way across row nine, being sure that we end up with 17 stitches. And then we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and I'll meet you back at row 10. This is what my work looks like so far. I've already chained one and turned my work, and I've already done my first five single crochet on row 10. And we're going to start out by doing those first five single crochet, bobble stitch in the six, single crochet, bobble stitch in the eighth, single crochet, bobble stitch in the tenth, and then you're going to single crochet in those last seven stitches. So we're going to start out with that first bobble stitch into that tenth space. We're going to yarn over, insert into that sixth space, and we're going to keep doing that until you have five on your hook. And again, if I'm going a little too quickly for you, just pause the video and catch up. And then replay once you've caught up. Okay, yarn over and pull through all five loops, if I can even get mine through. Okay, gonna single crochet. 
Let me get some more yarn. Now we're gonna bobble stitch into that eighth stitch, yarn over, insert, and keep repeating that until you have five on your hook once again. Pulling through those first two. Okay, I have four, and now I'm going to do that one more time. And now I yarn over and pull through all five. And now I'm going to single crochet. And now I'm going to do that last bobble stitch on this row in that 10th space. So I'm going to yarn over and keep repeating that same motion until I have five on my hook once again. And again, if I'm going too quickly, just make sure you pause the video until you're able to catch up and replay. Okay, and I'm down to my last one. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, and now that we did that third and last bobble stitch, you're gonna single crochet into those last seven. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet all the way across row 11. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 12. So this is what my work looks like so far. I've already chained one, turned my work, and I've done those first five single crochet. And we're now in row 12, so you do the first five single crochet, bobble stitch into the sixth, and then you single crochet on those last 11. So I've already done my first five single crochet, and I'm gonna bobble stitch into that sixth stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over and then insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through the first two, and just keep repeating that until you have five loops on that hook in order to complete that bobble stitch. One more time. Now we yarn over and pull through all five loops. And now you're going to single crochet into those last 11 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, single crochet all the way across row 13, making sure that you end up with 17 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 14. So this is what my work looks like so far. And again, I've chained one, turned my work. I've done those first five single crochet. And we're gonna start out with row 14. You're gonna do those first five single crochet, which I've already done. You're gonna bobble stitch into that six single crochet space, and you're gonna single crochet into those last 11 spaces. Okay. So we're gonna yarn over, insert into that sixth space, yarn over and pull up and go through those first two, and just keep doing that until you have, again, five on that hook in order to complete that bobble stitch. Do that one more time. Pull through the first two, I have five. So now I yarn over and I pull through all five. So that's the only bobble stitch on this row. So now you're gonna single crochet into those last 11. Chain one, turn your work single crochet all the way across row 15. You're gonna chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at the beginning of row 16. So this, this is what my work looks like so far. We're almost finished. We're on that last bobble stitch row. I've already chained one, turned my work, and I did my first five single crochet again. And so for the reference, we're gonna do those first five single crochet, bobble stitch into the sixth, single crochet, bobble stitch into the eighth, single crochet, bobble stitched in the 10th, single crochet in between and then we're going to bobble stitch into that 12 stitch and then you're going to single crochet in those last five stitches okay get my yarn ready so we're going to yarn over and go into that sixth single crochet space and you're going to keep repeating this until you have five on that hook one more time single crochet, bobble stitch into the eighth, five on the hook so I yarn over and pull through all five, single crochet in between, or at least attempt to. <laughs> Okay, single crochet in between, bobble stitch into the tenth space, keep going until I have five loops on my hook, one more time, yarn over and pull through all five loops, single crochet in between, 
And now for our fourth and last bobble stitch to that 12th space. Need five loops on that hook and keep going until I get One more time. Yarn over and pull through all five. A little difficult, but I'll get it. And now I'm gonna single crochet into those last five stitches. I'm gonna chain one, turn my work, and for rows 17 through 19, you're gonna single crochet all the way across, making sure that you end up with 17 stitches, and I'll meet you back at the end of row 19. Okay, so I'm down to my last single crochet on row 19. And at this point, I would chain one, and you would take your scissors and just cut the length that you think you would need, and then you would pull it all the way through. But I've shown that in previous videos, so I won't be showing that in this one. But in the description box below, I'll be sure to put a link below in order to teach you how to weave in those ends and to cut that yarn to the required length that you would need. But this is basically it, the letter F. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you were able to follow along with me and create this, hopefully you're able to see that, letter F. Well, until next time, I'm Shell with Shelby's Knickknacks, and I'll be seeing you soon.